osteoarthritis can be both a constant physical and mental challenge. 20% of people with osteoarthritis experience symptoms of anxiety and depression. People with osteoarthritis experiencing anxiety and depression symptoms also have less active lives when compared to people with osteoarthritis who do not have these symptoms. Finding ways to address anxiety and depression symptoms is an important part of treating osteoarthritis. Anxiety and depression are associated with general inflammation in our bodies, which can develop as a result of an unhealthy lifestyle. The components of an unhealthy lifestyle include poor sleep, poor diet, limited physical activity, high levels of stress, and an excessive use of alcohol and tobacco. The good news is that if we sleep, eat, and manage our stress better and move more, we can feel better. These lifestyle changes can treat, reverse, and even prevent symptoms of anxiety and depression. First, let's start with how we can eat to have better mental health. Research has shown that when people eat a diet that includes a high amount of fruits, vegetables, nuts and legumes with limited amounts of poultry, eggs and dairy products, and only occasional amounts of red meat, they have less risk of depression. Consuming foods that contain processed and refined carbohydrates, such as white flour, white bread, white rice, pastries, sodas, snacks, pasta, sweets, breakfast cereals, and added sugar, leads to a rapid increase in the level of glucose in our bloodstream, which, over time, can lead to insulin resistance and diabetes. Studies of healthy volunteers have also shown that when processed carbohydrates were consumed, the healthy volunteers reported a moderate increase in depressive symptoms. So avoiding processed and refined carbohydrates is a good way to improve mood and mental health. Another important consideration when thinking about how nutrition can improve your mental health is the possible connection between pain and the foods you eat. For instance, obesity, excessive calorie intake, and eating food high in sugar, fat, sodium, and or caffeine are often observed in people with chronic pain. Low intake of vitamins such as A, B12, D, E, and K, as well as calcium, magnesium, and folic acid may also contribute to chronic musculoskeletal pain. There are a few studies dedicated to what to eat to reduce pain. However, this is an area that will receive more attention in the future. For now, the research indicates that eating a diet that is whole food and plant-based is associated with less musculoskeletal pain. Furthermore, people who are overweight or obese have reported less pain when following a diet that restricts calories and helps them to lose weight. Please consider that what we eat can affect our mood and the level of pain we experience, which in turn can affect our overall mental health. Taking steps towards eating better is another way to feel better.